I have heard it both implied and outright said that men should not have opinions on abortion. Some people think that only women should have opinions on abortion. Men should not have opinions on this issue. I find this idea to be idiotic. The following are a number of my thoughts on this idea. Thought 1. Moral issues are everyone's business. The moral status of actions, systems, and ideas are the business of everyone. Telling people that it isn't their place to have a moral view is dangerous and idiotic. Encouraging people to silence their moral consideration is really weird, and gives the impression that you are scared of the logical conclusions of that consideration. If you are confident that you are morally in the right, you should be encouraging moral consideration, knowing that it will only serve to benefit your position. Rather than silencing consideration, you should be explaining why your position is the right one. Oppose people's views, not their right to have views. The latter implies a lack of confidence in your own views. We should not be telling people to deactivate their moral compasses. This is a dangerous thing to be encouraging people to do. People should not be encouraged to switch off their moral consideration. What a dangerous ability to give someone. Moral issues are everyone's business, and everything should be subject to merciless moral consideration. To put some things beyond moral consideration is dangerous. It teaches us a very dangerous skill. People should not be encouraged to turn off their moral compass. I can think of few abilities that it is more dangerous to propagate. Thought 2. Only pro-choice men will listen to such demands. How do I know? Because pro-life men don't care what women think about abortion. They don't care if you think abortion isn't the business of men. Many of them are misogynists. The few that are not think they are on a moral crusade. They are not going to abandon their opinions just because you told them to. They either despise women and therefore won't listen to anything they say, or they think abortion is murder. What kind of person ceases to have a moral opposition to murder simply because someone told them to? If we start saying that men shouldn't have opinions on abortion, only pro-choice men who are amicable to such perversions of feminist rhetoric are going to listen. That means less support for abortion. The consequence of telling men they shouldn't have opinions on abortion will be less support for abortion rights, because only pro-choice men will listen. If you actually care about abortion rights, this is not a good idea. You are only going to decrease support for abortion by decreasing the number of pro-choice men, because I promise you, they are the only ones who will listen. Thought 3. The idea that men shouldn't have opinions on abortion is a reductive claim which is fundamentally founded on completely ignoring the existence of trans people and infertile women. The obvious assumption behind this claim is that abortion rights only affect women, so therefore only women should have an opinion. This assumption is utterly wrong. Not only because abortion obviously has widespread societal consequences, which affect everyone, but also because trans people and infertile women exist, as much as this claim may like to pretend that they do not. There are people to whom abortion rights are deeply relevant who are not women. Have we forgotten that trans people exist? You can be capable of getting pregnant without being a woman. By this fact alone, the claim that men shouldn't have opinions on abortion begins to collapse. Trans men exist. Non-binary people exist. There are people who are not women who can get pregnant. 
abortion is deeply relevant to these people. Furthermore, infertile women exist. Abortion is not equally relevant to all women. Some women can't get pregnant. We can't just say abortion affects all women more than all men. Some men are more affected by abortion legislation than some women. Some men can get pregnant, some women can't get pregnant. This idiotic claim is based on a very reductive generalization. It completely ignores trans men and infertile women. Those are my three main thoughts. To conclude, saying that men shouldn't have opinions on abortion is kind of like saying that non-Ukrainians shouldn't have opinions on Ukrainian sovereignty. It is stupid. I am sure some people think it sounds smart, but a moment of consideration reveals that it is nothing more than stupid, mindless identity politics. This claim is entirely unproductive. It offers nothing. As far as abortion rights go, the problem is not men. The problem is people who oppose abortion rights. Many men support abortion rights, and some women oppose abortion rights. Turning this into a man vs woman issue is stupid and reductive. It isn't even remotely helpful. Men can and should have opinions on abortion. They can and should be pro-choice. Silence is not good enough. People should support the right things.